Hi everyone, today we're going to study Simpson's one-third rule. We know that the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx represents the area bounded by the function y equals f of x. Below is the x-axis. On the sides are the lines x equals a and x equals p. Now, the Simpson's one-third rule estimates the area by this formula. The h here is the width with formula b minus a all over n. And this n here is the number of equal parts between a and b and must be an even number. Now for the formula, this y sub 0 plus y sub n is the sum of the first and last terms. Then plus the constant 2 multiplied by the addends. This y sub 2 plus y sub 4 plus dot 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 is equal to the sum of even indexed terms. Then plus the constant 4 multiplied by this group. y sub 1 plus y sub 3 plus and so on means this is the sum of odd indexed terms. This is the example. Use Simpson's one-third rule with n equals 8 to approximate the integral from 2 to 6 of the function 1 all over the square root of the quantity 2x minus 1, then dx. First, let us list the given values. Our function or the y equals this 1 over the square root of 2x minus 1. The a and b are the limits of integration with values 2 and 6 respectively. The n is equal to 8. For step 2, we calculate the width h. Our formula is here, b minus a all over n. We substitute the corresponding values. We have now 6 minus 2 all over 8. Simplifying this into decimal, we have now 0 0.5. Step 3, let us complete the table of values for x and y. For the number of columns here, we write n plus 1. Our n is 8, so 8 plus 1 must be 9. So we have here 9 added columns. For the x row, we have now the first blank reserved for the value, which is a, and that is 2. For the last blank for the x, that is reserved for the value b, that is 6. Now let us complete the values of the remaining boxes. For the next box, we will have this number 2 plus the value h, that will be 2.5. For the next blank, 2.5 plus the h, that will be 3. 3 plus 0 0.5 becomes 3.5. This 3.5 plus h, we have 4. This pattern will continue up to the last value, which is the number 6. Now for the row for y. We name this starting from y sub 0 up to the last value that is y sub 8. We will now compute for the values of y using our function here. So let's begin with the y sub 0. We substitute the corresponding value of x. So y sub 0 equals 1 all over the square root of 2 times 2 minus 1. Simplifying this, we have 0 0.5. 5773. 
So we copy this value in here. And we can proceed with the last value, the y sub 8. So this becomes y sub 8 equals 1 all over the square root of 2 times 6 minus 1. Simplifying this, we will get the value 0 0.3015. Then we copy this on the blank. We can fill the values for the y using this pattern and we have these values here. Now we can go to step 4 using the formula of the Simpsons one-third rule. And this is now the formula. We substitute the corresponding values and it becomes like this. Using our calculator, we can start by adding the groups. So we have this group, the sum will be this one, plus the constant 2, we add the three decimals, it becomes like this. Plus the constant 4, we add the 4 addends. We have this number. Then we multiply the constant by the decimals respectively. So we have now this value we copy here plus this value is the product plus the product of this expression. And the total of these three decimals will be 9.5072. From here, we can multiply this decimal by the 0 0.5 and divide by 3. So our final answer is 1.5845. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Thank you.